to all. In this lesson, we will learn how to find the limit by using multiplication of conjugate method. So, from previous lesson, you already understand the situation where we will encounter indeterminate case. And we also discuss there are two options to solve this situation, which are by using factorization or multiplication by conjugate method. So, in this lesson, we will solve the situation by using multiplication by conjugate. Example 4. We have to compute each of the following limit. Part A, we have limit of x approaches 1 of x minus 1 divided by set x minus 1. As we learned before, the basic step to solve any situation is by using substitution method. In this case, if we substitute the limit value, we gonna get 1 minus 1 divided by third 1 minus 1 and you gonna get 0 over 0 indeterminate situation so as we learned before we have to try to manipulate the limit function from previous lesson we try to simplify the equation where we have a quadratic function but now we don't have any quadratic but we have a third function. You already learned in topic 1 where we have a conjugate of a third equation. So now, the only option is by multiply both numerator and denominator function by the conjugate of our third function. So just rewrite back your original equation. And now, multiply with our conjugate so conjugate of third minus third of x minus one is third x plus one after that try to expand our function but be careful you only have to expand the partner of conjugate which in this case for numerator part, you don't have to expand, but you just have to copy it back. So we will have x minus 1 times with third x plus 1 divided by, if we expand our denominator part, you will get x plus third x minus third x minus 1. Now, simplify our equation set of x minus set of x can be cancelled out rewrite back we will have limit of x approaches 1 of x minus 1 times with set x plus 1 divided by x minus 1 and you can see that you can cancel out x minus 1 Last step, once again try to substitute the limit value. So you will have set of 1 plus 1 where you're going to get 2 as your final answer. Now let's try for part B. We have limit of x approaches 4 of set x minus 2 divided by x minus 4. Once again, if we try directly substitute our limit value we will get set of 4 minus 2 divided by 4 minus 4 so 0 over 0 indeterminate case by applying the same rules now we once again multiply our original equation with our conjugate equation so we will Rewrite back limit of x approaches 4 of set of x minus 2 divided by x minus 4. Now, choose any equation that have a partner of conjugate. In this case, we have set x minus 2, set of x minus 2. So, our conjugate partner will be set of x plus 2. 
Next, expand our equation. Once again, be careful. Only expand partner of the conjugate. So, in this case, we have to expand the numerator part. So, we will have limit of x approaches 4 of x plus 2 third x minus 2 third x minus 4. And for denominator part, you just have to copy it back. So, simplify your numerator part. So, 2 third x minus 2 third x can be cancelled out. Rewrite back our function. So, we will have limit of x approaches 4 of x minus 4 divided by third, uh, sorry, x minus 4 third x plus 2. So, x minus 4 now can be cancelled out. Last step, try to substitute back your limit value. So, we will have 1 over third of 4 plus 2. So, final answer will be quarter. Continue with part C. We have limit of x approaches 2 of x minus 2 divided by 2 minus third of 6 minus x. Same as before, if you try to substitute the limit, you will get 0 over 0 in determinate case. So now, carefully choose numerator or denominator part that will have a conjugate partner. In this case, we will have a conjugate partner for denominator part. So, first step, copy it back. So, x minus 2 divided by 2 minus with third of 6 minus x. So, our partner conjugate will be 2 plus third of 6 minus x. Proceed to the next step. Now, we have to expand our partner conjugate. So, for numerator part, we just have to copy it back without expand anything. So, we have x minus 2 times with 2 plus set of 6 minus x. For denominator part, carefully expand your function. So, we will get 4 plus with 2 times third of 6 minus x, minus 2 times with third 6 minus x, minus, in bracket, 6 minus x. Carefully simplify your equation. So, third two, third, sorry, 2 of third 6 minus x, minus 2 of third 6 minus x can be cancelled out. So, now, once again, simplify your equation. We will have x minus 2 times with 2 plus set of 6 minus x divided by 4 minus 6 would be negative 2 plus x. Now, try directly substitute our limit by value into limit function and once again, you will encounter 0 over 0. So, this still is not our final answer. But, carefully check your function. x minus 2 and negative 2 plus x is basically the same factor. So, this can be cancelled out. So, last step. For the last time, try once again substitute your limit value. So, this would be equal to 2 plus with set of 6 minus 2. Final answer would be 4. So, as a conclusion, if we want to find limit of a rational function, the very first step is substitute the limit value into our limit function. Only after that, we can know the situation. If you encounter 0 over 0 as final answer, we call this as indeterminate situation. So, you must try to manipulate your limit function. 
where you're going to have two choices which are by using factorization method or multiplication by conjugate method. That's all for today.